Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to import a, a GitHub repo into your repo so that you can share your code using your GitHub as well as you can also write your code and execute your code all online here in REPL.IT. So let's get started. So this is uh, what you're seeing is my dashboard right now and I here there are the two buttons right up there the import repo and new REPL. So in last time we actually uh, used this new REPL for creating a new code snippet. This time I will be importing a repo that I already have and I have a couple of examples there for Python and we'll see how we can run here in REPL. So we go ahead and click uh, import repo and my algorithm, um, so I have this repo that I forked and as soon as you click on it, it will automatically import. It's cloning right here. So my this repo, uh, uh, my this GitHub repository has a bunch of code from other uh, languages as well, like Golang and Python. And if you go here uh, in the uh, version control, this is the little icon. It shows like which mas the branch I am in. I am in the master branch and so on and some uh, de uh, details about my history and in the files so I want to stay in my files view because I want to create a little um, uh, file to execute to show you how it would work and it also asked me uh, in the so in the middle panel it opens the readme file and here it doesn't have anything much and my repo is called algorithms and my select language is bash. It's just automatically picked up because it's uh, mentioned in my GitHub because I'm having multiple uh, uh, languages here. So it just selected the bash, but I can go ahead and do the Python because I will be using here running for Python. Okay, and say done. All right, so it will configure my environment accordingly. And let's see right here. So as you see in the left panel, uh, it opened my, uh, it cloned my GitHub. So let's say git status, what git has status has to say. So um, it has added the few uh, file like .repl.it and deleted bunch of files from here because uh, it's not uh, it, it, it's not the bash so it deleted a bunch of files here maybe it's not needed here we'll figure out what uh, what's happening here all right so uh, let's see let's create a little uh, folder right here say add folder and say basics because we are learning the basics here and I created the basics and let's create a file which says uh, for example basics.py or say part one basics one dot pi just because we might have more files but what we'll be doing will be printing or is the uh, hello programming what we did executed in the code before so we say print and we say hello programming all right and la now let's see how we can run it so in the left one, uh, we go to the left panel. Okay, so we change directory to our Python, where the source Python and we are will be executing for now. So we'll get into the basics. And now let's run it. Python basics one uh, dot pi. So that's how we can run our command. So again, to retreat how we did it, the whole thing. So I imported my existing repo that has a couple of different languages example in addition to Python. And then I went into my uh, Python folder right here. So I can see the into my folder and I say Python space uh, the file name and it will execute right here. All right, so that's how we can start using our GitHub repo, uh, include um, 
using like existing github repo or we can track our code base in github repo as well in addition to rappel.it we can use just use rappel this interface just to run the code while we still have our github repo so for that's it for this video